Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with Maplin's Gym Marbella. I'm in Legends Gym today in Dagenham and with me I've got the newest cruiserweight recruit to uh, the MGM team, Adam Hart. Firstly Adam, congratulations on Son of MGM. Secondly, how are you? Yeah, I'm good and yeah, thank you. I'm ugly I'm to be with MGM. Um, yeah, can't wait to get going. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, you, 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 how do you stay focused in this gym? You've got to be focused because you've got idiots around you. Every time I do an interview, they're just taking the piss. Everyone takes the piss in this gym. <laughs> it's a funny team. It's not good. just the boxers, it's the professional footballers as well. Yeah, we've got footballers taking the piss, we've got coaches taking the piss, we've got people running about naked. It's a, it's a crazy gaff. It is a crazy gaff. Uh, so you've got a 2 0 record at the moment, 100% yeah. knockout record. Uh, yeah. Have you got a date your next, your next fight? I think I'm fighting the 5th of March. Uh, MGM are coming over at the end of the week to watch um, Wayne Nibbert and Tommy Martin and I'll find out exactly what I'm doing then. That's fair enough. How can you see that fight going between Wayne Nibbert and Tommy Martin? Um, <sighs> Tommy Martin's obviously fresh, a really sharp puncher, but Wayne Nibbert's a, an old war rule, so we we'll see how much he's got left in the tank. Obviously, um, yeah, it's a 50-50 fight. It's whether the young buck takes it or, or the old veteran takes it. What do you make of the cruiserweight division at the moment? Obviously, Woody Camacho got a great win on the undercard of the David Hay fight, and now he's fighting Dan, Dan Woodgate for the Dan Southern Woodgate, area title. Yeah. Is that Obviously, that's a title that you would be interested in. How, how can you see? Do you know much about them two? Yeah, I've spied Woody a few times. Yeah, uh, I don't know Dan Woodgate. Um, yeah, I know Woody. Yeah, good luck to him. I hope he wins it. Would that be a fight you'd be interested in? 100%. 100%, yeah. Try and push that over the line. Obviously, I know you've got quite a close connection with the Goodwin team, and obviously he's with them, so you could, I reckon you could get that one sorted out. Yeah, definitely. Look, um, he's a very good fighter. Um, yeah, I know Steve Goodwin. I was with him. He's a very nice man. Um, yeah, and hopefully we could get that on in the future. Obviously, I've still got a lot of work to do in between now and fighting for a southern area. To be honest with you, I'm probably three or four, wait, three or four fights away from fighting for a southern area title or something along them lines. I've got to say, you look quite slim. What have you been doing? Just uh, training really hard. But, um, to be honest with you, I fit out of my heart beats. Any, any cruise wave in the country, if I'm not fit though, I'll get beat up by a journeyman, so that's the, that's the truth of it. So yeah, um, loads of hard work, I do my strength conditioning with the Dagenham and Redbridge football team, um, I do all my training, uh, we're putting a lot of effort into it and we'll see what happens. You only get in what you, you only, it was it, you, you only get in what you put out, oh no, you only, I don't even know. Yeah, whatever. Whatever that saying is, whatever I don't know what you hard work. Yeah, hard work and dedication. Hard work and dedication. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, Ad, well, thank you for watching to IFL TV and I'll catch up with you Saturday. Thank Cheers. you.